Hello everybody, it is me, Darcy, joined as always by Christopher. Mm-hmm. How are you, Christopher? I'm doing pretty good. That's yeah. You yeah. seem disappointed. You are hoping I will. My body is trying to die. Yeah, I'm aware. Um if you are wondering, I went did did I, I've done three gym sessions in a row. Tomorrow shall be four. And, and tomorrow my legs are a dumbass move. Oh, what do I prefer? I prefer it wasn't a dumbass move because it's not my forearms that hurt. They just made it a lot harder to do all the other activities which have left my arms hurting. Well, yes. <laughs> uh, it's <laughs> all in the triceps, biceps, and tomorrow probably quads. <laughs> oh, there you go. You going late again tomorrow? Tomorrow I'll probably be there about 10 ish depending on what I can do. Yes, that's right. I am a gym junkie. I might join. And a nerd. Because I'm special like that. Uh, let's move on to the thing that we often do here. It's called Channel News. Oh, 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 oh. Um, channel News. What came out this week, Chris? Do you know? So, so we had Wheel of Fortune on Monday. It did indeed. What the fuck, Benjamin? And <laughs> I know fucking Benjamin. And today. What do you mean, scented Matt Foil? <laughs> <laughs> That's the dumbest shit I've seen. But fuck, it was gold. Um, what does that Mario even do? Kart came out today. Get them back in the saddle. Fun fact about that Mario Kart. Uh, we played the first race. Now, if you've watched this, you don't need to know. But if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Because we do the first race. And Chris gets mighty lippy. <laughs> of course I do. I always get mighty lippy. And then proceeds to fail out of both of the Grand Prix that we did on that video. <laughs> I, I, hang on, hang on. I think I've placed in one. Yeah, behind me. <laughs> yes. But I placed them all. Be mighty lippy. Was, yes. Mighty lippy for someone who came after me. I gotta say, I'm and mad. then in the and then the second one, I just failed to do maths. Yes, did you? Did. Oh my god, they've beaten me. Oh wait, no, I beat them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, it was fun, and I'm always gonna get lippy when we play that. I always do. You did. Oh, I also I drop a hard C in there somewhere. <laughs> Is it still in the video? Yeah, absolutely. I didn't fucking bother removing it. I ain't gonna pay for this shit anyway. I ain't yeah, fucking... I ain't doing what they want while I ain't being paid. <laughs> also, it's far enough into the video that, that they probably won't there were no restrictions came up on that video. Oh, nice. <laughs> so if they did care, it was far enough into it that they were just like, whatever. Oh, fucking perfect. Okay. At this point, no children will be watching anymore. Apparently you guys are boring. No. <laughs> No, um, well, the fact I just say it's not for children, no, and it's pretty straightforward. Apparently, that makes it better. We we play a game generally made for children, we play children's games with much more swearing, exactly. Um, yeah, so that that that's... and jokes that make him just sad, he, he, he's sad and he just can't speak because he's got no words. Sad. Um, yeah, that happened last week, didn't it? <laughs> Wait, did I? Did yes. I in the podcast. What did I say? You made a joke about your, your head being buried in the sand, and I was like, it's neck deep because your head's in the sand. You went, yeah, but what if you also buried your shoulders? And I was just like, <laughs> I think I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Either that or I'm having an aneurysm. <laughs> it's one of the two. But hey. It's probably an aneurysm. Probably. I, I, I say shit to get that reaction. It's, anyway, it's more fun. Um, yeah, so that's that's what's come out this week. Um, yeah. Shit, what else have I done this week? Not a lot channel-wise. Yeah. It's, um, I've been pretty slack, if I'm being honest. Actually, I did do something Monday. What did I do Monday? Oh, I edited Mario Kart. Oh, obviously. It came out today. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I did do something channel-wise. I'm a fucking legend. Pay no attention to that slackness that you remarked earlier. That's him. Not me. I'm a legend. Hey. Yeah. Um... No, I have been slack this week. Probably about. Um, I'm doing stuff tech though. <laughs> it's like the easiest job ever. It's boring yeah. as fucking shit, but it's easy. Anyway, mm. other than that, we can talk about that later. Right now, channel news. What else is happening? I haven't looked at Discord. Because it's... I just don't... I'm not surprised. I just don't understand it. I'm like, what the fuck? I got a link. It... I can't remember if it was the same as the one I looked at, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Discord, are you just it's fucking not working. I don't fucking know. Well, I can't. I can't test it. Can yeah, I'm aware. I can't test it either. Um, I 
could I could make you leave the <laughs> leave, leave the big button. Jaden. Anyway. <laughs> um, Jaden test it out for us. Go. No, he's in it too already. He is? I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I haven't checked anymore. Um But what else happened? Oh um Oh maybe he's not. Maybe he said he couldn't because it wasn't working. I think that might have been it. Mm. Um Unimportant. Oh, it's channel related. But I don't care. Don't you? I do no. sometimes. Who mm. knows? I'm gonna find it. Um, what else happened? Um, that one. I did something. Of course you did. I can't remember what it was. I was gonna say, like, really, 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 like, I did something, but now that I've forgotten exactly what it was, I don't really wanna. Okay, there are three members. Oh, well then, no, he's not. I can't, wait. Oh, because it's you, me, and then the channel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, well then, yeah, no. Well, yeah, no. Um, so we can uh, use Jaden as a test dummy. But what we'd have to do is use the thing and then make it wait like two weeks and then test it. Anyway. Yeah, that's it's fine. It's unimportant. But it is channel related. It is channel related. Which makes it important mm, for the channel. It makes it part of news of the channel okay fine but fine. not important um what else happened well i um i did something i can't remember what it was video yeah something <laughs> that involved a video you recorded something but i can't for the life of me recall what it was so i'm a little bit worried See? about that no that might just be alzheimer's um you about to say stardew you haven't been playing that no Coraline? No. No. Don't, I can't for the life of me remember what I did. Um, still working on those Spyro videos, so yep. there'll probably be one of those coming out next week. Um, probably. Was that Bunny Man yet? Yeah, I got me ages ago. Fuck, okay. Bunny Man has been out for ages. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of something we've done that just we haven't put out yet. There is. Probably not a lot, no, if I'm being honest. Things. There's what we filmed last week. I've still got to edit one of those. So I'll probably do that sometime. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll have to do a solid session again. Um, the truth time. is, I think even right now, with those two Spyros and the two Phasmos and what we filmed oh, from last it. week, we're probably good until next Wednesday, which is the day you don't have work the next day True. which is probably the best day to do a big film yeah yeah that's fair uh, even though you know because by now I'll work until like I don't know, 7.30 on a fucking Wednesday did notice that yeah I'll explain that to you later but yeah pretty much something I said was completely ignored <laughs> yeah and then they were just like you can do this right and I was like I, that's not at all what I said <laughs> yeah <sighs> But hey, what are you going to do? Not get paid money? I don't think so. No, no. We um, want that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that that's... was pretty good. Um, I think it's just about wrapped up channel news. I really don't think there was much yeah, this week. I, I so. You know, like, I've been doing some stuff. I've been chilling. Um, you need to do that every so often, though. Yeah. yeah. Look, it's, it's just been, like, uh, it's been a pretty shit week so far, you know. Um, yeah. I went to the gym three times um I've gone once that hurt me a lot <laughs> I'm um, not in die by I, I, I did something else I think I played a computer game and I was like mm, this is good and then I was like oh shit several hours have gone past oh shit um <laughs> that's a common thing though then I was like oh yeah I should probably do this and I was like actually it's three in the morning I should probably go to bed um, so yeah, that's kind of been my week. Um, yeah. Actually, I was looking at getting Hellos. Oh. There's an X-Men playing at me, I think, or something to play with, so. Mm. Yeah, so that's a good game. That. that would be a game that we could get and play. And, and maybe play. He has it on the PlayStation. He's a fool. Where's PC coming to handle much? 
Yeah, but I kind of feel like... Okay, hang on. Let's just do this. Channel news. Fucking done. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, it's done. <laughs> okay, now let's move on to other things. First of all, Stock Day. Great job. Uh, if you could do it every day, I think you would because you can just not talk to customers and count boxes. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's super easy. Um, I'd do it, you'd do it, everyone would do it, because it's like, what what are you being paid to be here for several hours for? They had to... I count every can of paint. Every day. <gasps> they, uh... They had, apparently, on Monday? Yeah. They had to recount so many ways. Yeah, because fucking... Look, I'm, I'm going to come out, I'm going to say this nice and plainly, so that everyone can hear it, everyone can understand it. I currently work in the education department. <laughs> I try and help people who are having difficulty at school, as well as those who are not having difficulty at school. Yeah. When I say they're not having difficulty at school, they are actually having difficulty at school, otherwise they wouldn't be coming to see me. But they're also doing courses way harder than what they would need to to just pass school. Mm, true, yes. But what worries me is that, and this is not this is not just like a few people have been like, oh yeah, but you deal with the not so good ones. No, I'm dealing with especially in this situation with kids who are getting like pretty good scores from their teachers because it's primary school. Yeah, and I'm going, you're going to be in high school next year, and you still can't do your four times tables, Ooh. which I don't believe in timetables. Um, because they're arbitrary. If you don't know what that means, what I'm saying is, why do we end our 12 times at the 12 times tables? Yeah. Why do we end at 12 times 12 and be like, if you know up to 12 times 12, you're fucking good. Why don't we go to our thousands times tables or our millions times tables or our 259,327th times tables? <laughs> yeah. Because there's no real point. No. The point of timetables is to understand what multiplication is and that's what they're not teaching kids. They're not teaching them. No. Oh, multiplication is just adding in groups. Well, they constantly like, get you to do times one tables. Times one times one is one. Two times two is two. No, that's wrong. <laughs> well, so, so the, when I was in, oh, I was in grade, back in 2007, let's, let's say it that way. Um, one of the teachers I had made us do, every week you would do times tables at the start of every lesson. That's fine. So, and that's fine, but it's the problem is if you keep getting it wrong, it's weeks and weeks of you just memorising the answer. Hmm. You, you don't... It, so like, once you've memorised it... There's, it not, there, there's nothing inherently wrong with you knowing your times tables. No. It's just that it's unimportant. Mm -hmm. It's like, I say to a kid, what's 12 times 12? And they shoot back at me, 144. I'm like, correct, let's well, keep you, going. You memorise that. They're like, oh, but you, you haven't congratulated me for doing the hardest times table. I'm like, Oh, no, no, no. I'm like, constantly I'm doing stuff in my head that's like 50 times harder than that. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's not hard. I'm like, the only reason that I'm not impressed by that is because I understand that that is using a whole lot of your brain power to memorize that number where your brain power should be spent. I'm like, okay, I can't shoot back 144 at you the second someone says 12 times, 12, and then t shoot that answer back at you because I don't need to. I sit there and just go... That's your answer. That's your answer. Yeah. I, I'm actually doing the maths in my mind. Yeah. I'm like, and that's the impressive thing, kiddo. Do the maths in your mind. I'm like, that's why when you're sitting there going, oh, I don't know what 13 times 5 is, I'm like, bam, it's this number. Because I'm doing the maths in my mind and I understand what the fuck I'm doing. And that's yeah. the problem. We're not teaching kids to understand what they're no. doing. We're just having them tick boxes. Which means I've seen what's going into high school and what will be... <laughs> the future when we are old men and it's kind of terrifying because they are not ready for high school let alone the real yeah, I'm thinking we're not far off of you know the movie Idiocracy we're already there yeah I, well we're not quite at the have you seen our prime minister oh fair point <laughs> the man the man the man the man was once asked a question and his response was no sorry I was asleep <laughs> and they were like oh this is when he wanted to be the leader of our country. They're like, hey, do you know the answer to this question about the economy? No, sorry, I've been asleep. Sweet, man. Put that guy in charge. <laughs> yeah. Fucker. He, he's not a fucking nerd. He didn't study the economy of our country. That means that we earn more money and our money's worth more and that we don't have to pay as much for shit. He sleeps. What a fucking lad. 
and that's why it costs like 70 bucks to fill my tiny car's petrol tank let alone anyone who wants a big car I don't even have a big car it's 140 to fill mine yeah mm -hmm. so lesson there do not elect your officials based on how much of a lad they are <laughs> yeah, oh no that's a dumb idea holy shit I should be prime minister I'm such a lad <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was thinking different reasons of saying no to that one. Such a lie. No, but the reason um, the reason why I said they had to recount a bunch of things is apparently someone was I wasn't here for that one, but I was told about it. He turned around to someone and was like, How many reckons is in that box? And they're like, I don't know. That so you're counting that bay, I, I would probably say maybe like thirty something. He's like, ah, fifty four. He hasn't counted it, he just said fifty four, punched it in and left it. He had no idea how many was in that. He just wasn't counting. Was he then promptly fired? No, no, he's still he's still there. Um, and he was still on the counting. Jesus fucking Christ. I, I don't know whether they got back to him and was like, dude, seriously. I would have, I would have, if I was Come in on. charge of that, I would have had to go to the hospital to have my foot surgically removed from his fucking prostate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, because that's, that is just, Fucking ridiculous. We Fun fact. Mean, just more work for everyone. Fun fact: I do not have to do any stock take in my current job. No, that's a that's a plus. Um, because we have office girls who do that kind of shit. I know it helps out. Um, and also, you know, like I don't think the boss is too worried about shit like that because it's what's a pencil. But like, yeah, it's, it's stationary is not um, something you really need to. And we don't sell it. Stock take. So it's it's you know we sell educate we sell smart people. Well, we don't really. We sell my time. No. Yeah, that's it. I was going to say, you're not being sold. It's terrifying, which is a terrifying thought if you think about it. Yeah. Now, if I was 15% smarter, I would legally not be allowed to have a YouTube channel. What? Yeah, so if I was 15% smarter, they would be like, nope, you cannot have a YouTube channel. You have to go out there and just solve things. Fix problems. Use your brain for something. Where good. the fuck did you come up with this? did the maths did you <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck off are you going to check my working probably not because you have you wouldn't understand it I'm decent at math you'd look at it and I'm go wait this, this is fine <laughs> I don't agree with this but I can't be bothered to check it I don't agree with this but I can't see a mistake anywhere <laughs> fuck damn it no it's just like it's just like my mustache theory Fuck. If you have a mustache and wear aviators, you are legally not allowed to have a boring job. <laughs> <laughs> they just come and find you and they're like, um, excuse me, this jet not gonna fly itself. Fucking do it. <laughs> Get over it. We can't fucking do that anyway. You know this is a uh this is a multi million dollar plane, right? Mm-hmm. And I do not know how to fly things. You have to you got the equipment, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you got the equipment. <laughs> this is uh this is this is a. This took me five days to grow, with a little bit of shaving around the outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's that's something. Having said that, not that we would be able to do it anyway. Too tall. Yeah. Uh, too tall. It's a downside. Mm -hmm. Um, no, but yeah, so it, like, it, fucking in my old job, I had to do a fucking stock take, and I did it, and it was the shittest stock take I've ever done. Because the entire yeah. time I'm doing stock take, they are taking things that I'm counting and yeah. selling it. So I would have to count everything. Then I would have to, then when I would go, okay, I'm fairly sure I've counted everything. Now I've got to make sure right. what was sold. Well, it wasn't even that. It was count everything where I knew it was. Then check all of the other shelves to see if there were any hidden away that shouldn't be there. Uh, Once yeah. that's done, I've collected all of them and put them in the same spot. Do a recount, see what my new number is. Yeah. Then compare that new number to the old number to the number I should have. Go into the computers, see if any have been sold, taken, delivered. Because here's the thing: they may have been sold, but they may not have been taken off the shelf yet. Uh, so yeah, now I've got to go do that. that, and I'm just like. Yeah, this would be like so much easier if you guys just paid me to come in on a fucking Saturday when no one was here. I'm like, I could knock this over in about four hours. Do the entire thing. Because shit wouldn't be moving all the time. 
You'd, you'd start by figuring out if anything's in the wrong spot, mm-hmm. and then go from there. It's mm-hmm. not fucking. And they were like, "Oh no, no, no! This is far better." And despite all of that, because you were doing I so hundred yes, I was. Oh. I hundred percent had that whole warehouse counted within two weeks, hmm. whilst also doing deliveries and not being there, and only being there four days a week. Yeah. Um, and after all of that, they were like, "Oh, these numbers are really bad." I'm like, "Well, those are the exact numbers. We're gonna get this done again." <laughs> Fuck off! Like you can try. I'm like, I, I guarantee, go, go for it. Have, it. go for it. Go count. And they came back and they're like, "Our numbers are even worse." I'm like, "Yeah, because no one here fucking counts the same way I do." I'm like, I'm up there doing every fucking shelf, touching every tire, checking every time. I'm like, yeah. I'm up there doing the fucking work. I'm like. What everyone else is doing is walking along going like, oh, that looks like it's about right. I'm like, that's what they've been doing for years, hence why your numbers are so fucking broken. Yeah, yeah it's screwed. Like, the, the one thing about the stock... Oh, and thing. also receiving deliveries. Yeah. Yeah, so in those two weeks, I received four deliveries of over 2,000 times. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. No, okay, I remember that conversation now. No, yeah, I was just like... That's rough. I'm like, oh, so I've got to... Yeah, the, yep, okay, radio. <laughs> yeah, screw you all. Screw and, you. Yeah. Fuck you. And yeah, and then there was the um the wheels that I counted and they were just a clusterfuck. Like to the point where I'm like, Hey, so um this wheel here isn't on my list. Of course it's on your list. I'm like, right, put it in the computer, tell me what you find. Oh, that's not in our system at all. I'm like, Yeah. No, it mustn't be there. I'm like, give me one second. Walked out of the boss's office to the desk where I had brought the wheel with me, because I'm not a fucking moron which it took them a really long time to fucking figure out. Yeah. Walked in with it, put it on his desk and went, doesn't exist, does it? Then what the fuck is sitting on your desk? Well, let me check. Oh, that's that. How, how does it, how is this here? I'm like, oh, well, it's been, it's been here since before they deleted it from the system. <laughs> I'm like, so, um, probably because no one you've had doing this job has actually taken a fucking count of anything. No. They all just guesstimate. Oh, yeah, yeah. that looks like about ten. <laughs> yeah, it is ten. Ten different fucking things. <laughs> no. This year was the first year that Leanne and I were given free reign in our section, so they were sending people to us instead of just saying, go to paint and start going. Mm. So they were pretty much going, go to Chris or Leanne, ask them what they want you, what they want you to do. So we were just sending them to 16 just to count all the fucking glues and stuff. Leaving the paint to us, yeah. and, you know, and that is that we, is the hardest. That is the hardest part about stock eight because it's like, okay, I'm supposed to have four liters of this. Pop the can open, pour it out. Okay, let's put it back in. One liter. Yeah, it takes a while. Two liter. <laughs> three liter. Ah, oh, that's only three and a half liters. Let the rest of it go. <laughs> um, oh god. So yeah. So well, we, I'll count the next one. Ah, it's only got two liters. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have been doing this next to a drain. God damn it. <laughs> damn. No, so we were like, and then all of a sudden, like, because we were stuck in an aisle, mm. and then the person that was there for the service, she she also started telling people where to go. No. And I found out, so I saw one of the one of the newer people walking into the old beside us, and I'm like, oh, hang on, let's stop him. Yeah, anyway, so, yeah, so um, I, was, I just sent him over to Jacob, and then I walked into the next aisle, as I see them putting the completed bays on the paints, and I'm like, how many of these were counted by someone who's not in paint? Um, oh. All by that one. I'm like, cool. Don't touch any more. Go to Jacob. Okay, so basically, and, it, and, it, and then and you had to go to the person serving you. So basically, here's what we do. Fucking stay out of my business. We pretty much said to her, like, do not let anyone count from the paint. Because I said it's the first year they let, like, the two of us just just us touch the paint. Oh, trust me, I know. Every other year we go into all 20, it's like, yeah, let's move into all 20, and there's just some winning every single paint. I remember so, I remember when I did shit. stock take, because I was only there for one year for stock take. Um, thank God. And <laughs> I remember when I did it, and they were just like, oh, so you're going to be doing this. And I was like, okay. And I'm like doing it. And then they're like, oh, yeah, so John um, and Greg are going to do all of. Uh, flooring and I was like yeah that's fine I'm like I don't really care I'm like I'm just here to get paid to do my fucking time I don't give a shit and then like John and Greg came back and they're like so they're like 
the only part of flooring that we specifically have to do is like we want you to do it with us and i'm like oh no and they're like no no it's not a bad thing i was like oh okay well I'm like what are we doing they're like we have to count all the carpet and i was like oh okay i'm like why do you guys do you actually need me like do we have to take it off or not they're like no no we're going we use an equation to do it hmm. he's like but then we do actually have to kind of check it um check our error room so um and yeah. of course i was the youngest and probably um <laughs> the one that was least likely to throw my back out if we had to actually count the carpet because <laughs> yeah. the equation seemed completely off and with some of the carpets it couldn't be off if they were like rolled poorly so we pretty yeah, much had to re-roll and tighten them and i was like oh, okay so why do you guys want me to come and help you and they're like oh because you're they're like you're the person who's in flooring the most yeah. they're like you and greg are the flooring guys it's like i'm like and john's like i'm half here half in kitchens he's like so you should know how to do this and i was like I'm oh sure. that's uh, i'm like yeah that's a pretty good point they're like especially considering this is our last day on stock take so if they need someone to recheck this they'll come to you and i'm like oh and they were just going to be like oh no you don't need to know how to do this darcy fix this count for us how the fuck am I supposed to do that so anyway roll everything what they did was yeah they they took me and taught me and then they were like oh yeah we didn't think about that i'm like oh, of course you didn't you fucking dumbass managers yeah no fuck you, you, <laughs> you didn't think oh yeah darcy the guy who's always in flooring yeah he might he might need to know how to do the one thing that no one else in the store knows how to do because it's so flooring related yeah, Count yeah, all of the paternoster shit that's it it's like as as we were starting because this is the first year of like jake and being the coordinator mm. he's like oh everyone just into electrical I'm like jacob they had another going in paint to make sure the paint gets counted properly you know with all the bases and stuff oh yeah oh, okay and just just well, accept it okay, and that's, then that's, he was talking to leanne oh, the cash office later a good one for you so when he was talking to leanne in the cash office he's like okay so just want to go over the plan with you so this is what I, and then chloe just turned to say leanne and chris have it just let leave it to them i i guarantee that this is one of the things that uh, this is this is again why i'm like you should count your own department yeah 100 percent. um because do. you'll do it fucking right We'll do like, it right and we'll do no, it no, I'm, I'm not talking about you specifically. I'm talking about... No, no, but like if you're in your own apartment, department, one, you'll do it right. And two, you'll probably do it faster. Yep. And, and three, you know what you sell. Yeah. Like, okay, that might not be true for builders because they just chuck any idiot down there. <laughs> yes, they do. But like, I remember fucking having to come... Like, I remember getting this fucking list of after stock take um, because I hadn't been there the day they'd done flooring. I had started in kitchens and I was like, oh, whatever. And I was like, you know me, I'm immaculate with this kind of shit because it's kind of what I do. I'm very OCD about my counting. True. true. And so it's like, bang, 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 bang. I'm like, I don't go like, oh, that kind of looks like it. It's like, unless I've touched it, seen it, made sure it's the right thing, I'm not counting it as this thing. Yeah. And so I'm immaculate with it. So I started in kitchens. And then the next, the day after fucking stock take, I get this list. Errors from the stock take in flooring. I look at it and I go, well, there's your first error. I'm like, they've counted these per tile, not per box. No, oh, the fuck. <laughs> I'm oh, like, no. Yeah, so I went out and I was like, yeah, so some fucking idiot. And they're like, Ooh. I'm like, no, no, some fucking idiot has counted every individual tile in this. That's why we have like 10,000 of something we're supposed to have a couple boxes of. And it's not even hard to figure out how you've got to count it. You look at the label, and if it says CTN, it's the per fucking box, not per tile. Yeah. It's and simple. I was just like, I was like, yeah, so, yeah. Also, fucking all of my boxes of these tiles are fucking open. <laughs> Holy shit, they went that far? Yeah, because one, two, three, four. Yep, there's ten in there. Check the next one. One, two, three. Yep. Why would you not just look at the box and be like, well, this has the same product code. Everything else matches. These boxes and there's aren't ten open. per box because it says how many's in each box. I Dude, know, but it's like, I'm like, so you've ruined my life. Because like, I had to end up counting a pallet of tiles um, last you night. Fucking ruined my life. Uh, yeah, I had to count a pallet of tiles out in GR last night. <sighs> and everything was cards except for like the little small coloured tiles. Mm. And I'm there. And I'm like, per box. And I'm like, cool, cool. Are these both the same? Sweet. Sweet, and David scan just to double check. I'm like, oh, 
no products found because I scanned the barcode of the box. I'm like, cool, so these are per tile. Fucking 200 done. You'd think that would be the easy way to go. Um, but again, yeah. um, from that list of errors, me and Greg pretty much had to recount all of the tiles. Because yeah, obviously, whoever had counted them knew nothing about tiles. Um, and one of the ones that we found really funny was we pulled a box out. Yeah. The first two tiles in that box were white. And we're like, they're in the wrong spot. Move them. The rest were fucking green. <laughs> Stock take list. We had no green tiles. I'm like, well, there's 98 of them at least. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they looked and went, fucking white tiles. <laughs> no, yeah, that seems like a full box. Yeah, okay, that must be 100 extra white tiles. the tiles that I was just talking about yeah. as well. I'm like, well, that solves one of the issues. <laughs> That's weird as the, the, the ones that came in last night with green. Of course they were. <laughs> They, they aligned with the story, except I didn't open the box. box wasn't open. Oh, sorry, the box was open. It was yeah. one of the ones that we had cut open so you could take a tile out. Mm. But someone had obviously walked past and just been like, oh, I don't need these white tiles anymore. They weren't even the same fucking white tile. One was gloss and one was matte. And I was like, <laughs> so this motherfucker just went white. That looks like a whole box. A hundred white. I'm like, oh. didn't look at the fucking thing that says green. That motherfucker says green. <laughs> Fucking dumb I know. I just I could That's... not I could not comprehend with the people that worked there because I was like, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing about any workplace: you do a bit of work, right? Yeah. You real come to realize that there are two options. There are the people that go like, I just need to get what I need to get done today done. Yeah, doesn't matter if I do it well. Oh yeah, I just have to get these boxes out of here. And so you walk in, and can I tell you how many times I would visit the paint department and be like, yo, so I've got some of your products, and they're like, why do you have our products? I'm like, oh, well, well, I've got to cut them in, you see. <laughs> and they're like, no, we've got heaps of it right there. I'm like, yeah, yeah, but I don't have any in my section. <laughs> and that's where these were left. And they're like, why the fuck would they leave that so there? So they don't do that anymore. Now they leave all the flooring stuff with me. They, well, they, just, they just bring you a thing of silicon and they're like, this must be yours. Especially if it's just a return. It's like, hmm, this looks like a silica tube. Hey, I'm like, well, this belongs in builders. <laughs> <laughs> and it's legitimately, and it's the funny Which this is actually a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> we do have some. We do, we do have some, but it's like, even those get dropped to us. Oh, yeah. I remember I used but to the like, silica floor glue that was in the sausage. And I kid you not, it was in a sausage about this thick. Because it was a big, fat, fucking sausage of shit. Yes, they sell silicon in sausages. <laughs> yes, um, <laughs> yes they do. Which is one of the funniest fucking things ever. Because it's I used true. to hit people. Like, I fucking used to use them to hit Liam. I just go like, "Hey, Liam, <laughs> boom, bitch!" And he's like, he's "Fucking hit me with this giant fat sausage." I'm like, "Yes." Well, what we did is we found one that um, the end of it had burst open. Mm. So we just like. I'm just gonna leave this on the desk for a couple of weeks. <laughs> just, just let that harden. But um, yeah. Well, so like we had place. that. Like we were the only place that had one that was like this fucking thick. I and it never said saw that one. flooring. Like it literally said flooring glue on it or some shit yeah. like that. Silica, um, sticker flooring glue. It's the yellow and red triangle one. They have one that big. Yeah, yeah. They didn't. I've we didn't have it for long because oh, once I we got rid of all the like glued down flooring, we no longer had it anymore because it was for wooden timber floors. Yeah, we've always had one there, but only in the 600 for this one. Yeah. But, it, well, once we got rid of because we also used to have giant fucking tubs of the shit. Yeah, that's true. And, um, anyway. And they fucking take it to paint and put it there. And paint are just like, we don't even know what the fuck this thing is. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is this thing? I walk up it, and I'm like, oh, that's one of mine. And they went, how many of these do you have? I'm like, two. I literally have two. <laughs> I'm like, and I guarantee you this was at the front because someone fucking walked past and went, oh, giant sausage. <laughs> and they went, I don't need this. Fucking probably. <laughs> but yeah, no, I fucking uh, had to deal with shit like that all the time. Actually, one that's ironic. It's very ironic just because of the brand name for it. But there's scrapers. Mm. Always get brought back without fail. Oh. So this particular black plastic scraper always gets dropped at the paint counter in my... This one doesn't belong in paint. The more ironic thing is it belongs in Builders, and the brand name is Builders Edge. <laughs> but it um, always ends up in paint. <laughs> that's like my big floor scrapers. Yeah. Always end up in tool shop. And it's like, 
fuck are they doing there? I've been looking for them for ages. They're like, oh yeah, this is a new thing we just got in. I'm like, it's not a fucking new thing. <laughs> I'm like, they belong with me. Wait, they're, they're leaving it scraping for. No, they're, they're just fucking sitting down in the front of builders. And they're like, yeah, we don't know what to do with them. I'm like, have you tried scanning it to figure out where the fuck it is? Wrap my arms around. These are mine. I'm also taking some blades. <laughs> 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 thank you but uh, yeah, fucking and they're just like okay, I, I used to walk over the store and just be like that's mine that's mine that's not mine I remember fucking it was one day and I kid you not it was the stupidest thing ever like we got a pallet for you they bring this pallet and I look at it and I was like that's that pallet did not come in like that they're like yeah it did I was like no no because there's like some of my boxes here some other boxes and then there's just a mess in the middle I'm like People have been throwing boxes onto this. Yeah. Because they're like, I don't know where this goes. Put it on this part. And like, oh, no, no, it's all your stuff. And I'm like, okay. Right in the first box. I'm like, okay, the paintbrush. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I guess tiles get painted on now, I suppose. <laughs> well, they do. But <laughs> <laughs> that's a thing. But, like, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm just like, okay. And I was just so fucking pissed off with GR at this point oh, that yeah. I was just like, right here. I'm gonna fuck with them. So I called Glenn up. I'm like, hey, Glenn, can you come down to four? I've got some products here that need to get cut in, and I just need your help to figure out where I'm gonna put them. Because I'm like, Cause I'm currently my shelves are fucking full. But GR's dropped with this whole palette. It's got so much new stuff on it that I have no idea where to do anything. I'm like, I've got Greg down here. He has no idea what's going on. Just fucking sitting there fuming. I'm just like, no, 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 go calm down. I'm like, <laughs> we, we have no idea. Well, we cannot fit anything else in. I'm like, our shelves are fucking full, and. The only way we can start cutting this stuff stuff in is if we start removing other stuff and we don't know what's going on. Maybe you know what's going on. You're the ops manager. He comes in. It's like, hey, what have you got for us, boys? I'm like, okay, first of all, paintbrushes. Got no idea where I'm going to put them. He's like, well, obviously they don't belong here. I'm like, oh, then why the fuck were they brought to me? <laughs> oh, well, I'm like, because everything on this palette and I had boxes all just lined up. I'm like, I was told this is all for me. It all came in on one palette for flooring. <laughs> I'm like, so I've got to put it on the shelves, don't I? Oh, that's all. That's painters, that's builders. I'm like, you don't fucking say. <laughs> oh my God, oh, it's always like, I know my fucking job. He would have fucking hated that. He did. He did he not. He would have fucking hated You know Glenn that. fucking hated me. I'm like, aware. And Fuck. to be fair, I was an asshole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I was always right. And I was just so fucking done with dealing oh, with yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. Because I spent 90% of my time cleaning up other people's fuck-ups. I, I quite often, they bring me a, um, a pallet of fucking Cromwell, which is mostly in builders. So I take it back out to GR, hmm. and Matt sees it, is like, wait, did someone take that out there again? Yeah, I don't know who keeps doing it, but I've taken my one tin off of it. Hmm. Here's the rest of the pallet. Well, that's <laughs> like, okay, so, I remember this one day, right? Yeah. I, mean, I was, uh, you know, like, no one ever took me seriously, because I like, here's the, here's the fucking 17 year old kid he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about anyway yeah. so Saturday morning pallet comes I've pulled a pallet down because it has 60 boxes of flooring I need for a customer who's coming in to collect it yeah and I and it's Saturday morning the shop's just opening up I walk in pull out my knife cut it open while the manager of goes we don't do pallets on a Saturday and I just fucking turned to him with my knife in my hand and went we fucking do when it's for a customer and he went, oh, yeah, right, oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, how about you fuck off out of my section and go back to fucking managing your shit? Oh, fuck, that's gold, man. And, and he went, oh, right, yeah. I went, fucking piece of shit. And then I saw him later. I went, oh, well, um, just so you know, I was out in the fucking Timby yard earlier. He was the manager of the Timby yard. And I went, and uh, they were all fucking picking their assholes. So I thought maybe you should go out there and fucking manage them. So I was so fucking pissed off at him. Oh, yeah. And he was like, oh, well, no, no, I didn't mean to go off at you. And I was like, oh, really? Really? It's almost like I can do my fucking job and I don't need to be micromanaged by a cunt who couldn't even fucking pass high school. Hard C. Hard C. <laughs> oh, and that's why, that's why I got a reputation as being like, he's being trained by Greg. <laughs> and people were like, what does that even mean? I'm like, it means that I fucking snap at you. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. like, I've never had that problem with Greg. It's See, no, no, all, because all you do your fucking job. All I ever had from Greg is like, you're going home and you'd be like, should I say you to go home? Yeah. No, no. And I look him dead in the eye, like, no, you didn't, but I'm going to go anyway. 
What? Get your ass back down on the floor. Could you, could you could you imagine if I walked back in there and said to Greg, "Yo, I'm back working." The man would cry tears of pure joy. Already hit you because why the fuck did you come back? He'd probably punch me. No, no, he would cry because he'd go, yeah, he would. finally, someone who can actually do the <laughs> fucking job. That's the funny thing, because no one's in there. Well, actually, Jeff is, and he can do the job, but half the time he's in pain because we don't have people. But, but as, as I said, it's funny, because we, we don't have enough people in pain, but they're so big on, we've got to have someone in pain, that it's like, no, no, we don't need someone in flooring, ever. Just, yeah. <laughs> so um, what? But as I said, I was fucking sitting there one day, and, like, everyone was like, oh, you know. I was talking to, like, all of the other kids our age at the time. Mm. Um, when I say our age, me and Chris are obviously not the same age. Um, but It's a year difference. It's not. It is, but it's not. Um, I was talking to, like, all of the kids who were, like, under 18, pretty much. Yeah. Because uh, we were up there. We are up on our breaks doing something. And, like, yeah. the girls on the front end were on break. And I was up there on my break. And they're like, do you miss the front end? And I'm like, no. <laughs> what? I'm like, girls. I'm on my break. Do you know why I'm on my break? Because I was like, Greg, I'm fucking done. I want to go on a break. And he was like, okay, well, off you go. I'm like, okay, I'll be back in 15 minutes. He went, yeah, if you feel like it. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll, well, I won't be back in 15 minutes then. <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, that must be nice. But working with Greg must be hard. And I was like, are you kidding? I'm like, it's the easiest thing in the world. It's fucking great. Like, it's great. Do your fucking job and he will fucking... I'm like, yeah, he will fucking... He calls me lazy and fucking like, tells me that I don't do anything all the time. Yeah. I'm like, but I'm like, I also call him old. <laughs> and they're like, oh, I'm like, yeah, it's back and forth because we are both doing the job. Yeah. Like if I'm actually not doing the job, he wouldn't fucking talk to me. He would just be always grumpy. I'm like, yeah. but he's not. And so a bunch of the young kids started talking to Greg while like we were working and they'd like be walking past me like oh I'm going on break and they'd say something to Greg and he'd like say something back to them and they're like oh he's not being serious so for, every, for the longest time okay. everyone just thought he was like always just grumpy serious but, yeah. I mean technically he was half the time well he, 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 he's, he's always grumpy because half the people he's oh. grumpy yeah like, <laughs> like the time he, I was he in there to and, the desk it just starts but like the time the, um, three of the young girls yeah. from the front end it was Tyler Selena and I might have been might have been Kirsten were like all just standing there because they had knocked off mm. and I still had to work for like another half hour and they were all standing there making fun of me and then Greg walked past and he's like what are you three doing they said something and I was like ah it's okay old boy they're just fucking making fun of me and they're like oh, you just call Greg old and he like fucking threw a box of tiles at me <laughs> empty box of tiles of course, of course yeah, but he just throws his box at my head and I'm just like boom and they're like what the fuck I'm like oh he does that all the time when I call him old they're like you're probably the only person who can get away with calling him old. I'm like, I call him old Greggy all the time. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun to call him old. But like, they're just like, he would like kill anyone who called him that. I'm like, no. No, if the right person calls him it, yeah, see, he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> it's like, no. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Like, he's, oh. he, he's, as I said, I, 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 like, as I said it's, it's, this, the whole place is a fucking shit show. And it's been <laughs> shit shows since I was there. Oh, it's, but it's gotten so much worse. Yes, because the caliber of the employees are getting worse. Oh, they are. They really are. <laughs> it's fucked. Oh, but it is. It is actually, I've got to ask Greg what the fuck he's doing back. Because he was going to retire. Well, he said he was going to go on his... Long his service. Uh, no, he was just on a holiday. Oh, okay. But he's like, man, I'm going to have a chat to a doctor. And talk about stress levels. Because he's got a shit ton of sick leave. You should do that. And I'm like, I looked at him like, I can do it. <laughs> like, I well, if you don't do it, you should lend me some of your sick leave. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but no, he's, I'm just like, I can do it. Get, get out of here, man. It's like, you, why the fuck are you still here anyway? You hate oh, this man. place. Everyone. He doesn't really hate the place. He just, he hates the management in the place. It's, then, it's because they couldn't manage a root in a brothel. No, it's fucking good. Um, um, but yeah, so let alone something as complicated as a fucking roster. Yeah. And if you can sense the sarcasm there, it's because rostering shit's fucking easy. Oh, it is. But I, I saw him. In I think I, I think I had managed that, and um, actually had to do that for assessments when I was in year seven at fucking high school. That sounds right. Yeah. 
But um, yeah, no, but I saw Greg in there today, and I'm like, I thought after I left, I'm like, wait, the fuck's he doing back? I think he's gonna come back. Maybe, maybe, maybe his holiday was so relaxing. <laughs> he's decided to come back for a week so he can rebuild the stress. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Anyway, enough enough on fucking uh, bunnies and it's fucking shit. Yeah, shit. Yeah. Chris says bunnies is shit. Specifically, on the internet, where any of his managers can come and watch it, and they're all incompetent. You know what? I might send him a link to this video. <laughs> Chris is first. Oh, well, it's mainly me shitting on them, so <laughs> I don't even fucking know him, <laughs> but I'm correct. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah, no. Let oh, us no. move on to something far less stressful. I've been playing a video game recently. Oh, which one? Dead Island 2. Did you record it? No. No. But, fun fact about Dead Island 2. Um, yes. I am alive. Yes. And it is set in LA. I do recall seeing all of the trailers for it. So Actually, I'm and the technically, trailer. wait, hang on, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. There's one more part of the title I must address as well. Okay. Technically, it's the third Dead Island game. <laughs> yes, it is. So, uh, technically, it's the fourth Dead Island game. Sorry, there oh. was a there was another one that didn't really do anything. Um, so the entirety of its title is a lie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. Secondly, and this one is a little bit uh more accurate. Very fun. I'm enjoying my time with it. However, yeah, it awesome. has reminded me of the most hated of mechanics in video games. <laughs> weapon durability. Now, I don't hate weapon durability in video if games. it's done right. But I'm not a big fan of it because they can never do it right. That's true. Um, to give you an example, I'm, I'm going to give you an example quickly of when it's done right. Yeah. Um, there's a little game I've been playing recently called uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Yes. Now, it has realistic weapon damage. Yes. So, while you're crawling around this island and hiding in the bushes and doing all this stuff, the paint on your gun gets scratched up. The gun still works perfectly fine, but the paint gets a little bit scratched up because it's a fucking gun that's supposed to be tested for military use that's being used by a military so you don't shoot 10 bullets and it explodes. Could you imagine if the people that did video game weapon durability made actual real-life weapons? Well, this gun shot 10 bullets. It needs to violently explode now. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I've been playing Dead Island. Be I've been playing Dead Island. And one of the weapons I was using, and this is the one that probably stuck out to me the most, because like I was using a golf club. I don't mind if a golf club breaks after like 20 tits, because golf clubs aren't designed to cave skulls in. And they will, but generally... They're, 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 they're a hollow pipe about yay thick. And if it's lasted than 20 hits, that's pretty fucking good. I like it. Um, what One or I was, two hits should be the max before it breaks. What I was less keen on was the fucking wood splitter axe. You know wood splitter axes? Yeah. The ones that are a wedge of metal, like, that thick. Yeah. Uh, with just a little kind of... Yeah, they're, they're for splitting giant logs of timber. Uh, correct, yes. Yeah, so after caving in many, many, like, probably up to 40 zombies' heads with it... Okay. Um, it was looking like it had, oh, it was all chipped and bent and broken, and then one yeah. more hit caused it to break, and I was just kind of like, I really hate weapon durability. I'm like, the, the, that is something that is designed to stick into a log of timber, which is much harder than a human head, trust me, and then be swung and literally use its own weight and force to split that log in half. Yeah, as well as the force of gravity. If you if you want to do it, I'm sure there's a million lumberjack things on YouTube. Go watch yes. someone use a wood splitting axe. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, this thing should just be indefinitely caving in zombies' heads. Well, I would say once it's like chipped and like dulled a little bit, it should still be caving them in. But no, no. Once it's chipped, but what would, what in the human body would cause a thing that's literally designed to be smashed into timber oh yeah break the human body is especially a rotting human body they're not exactly known to be sturdy oh, no we are very flimsy things to begin with yes very flimsy like you we can die from just banging our heads too hard against the ground it's true yeah 
And that's only from our standing height. We are literally designed to be easy kills. Yes. And then you take that and you'd be like, yo, you've been dead for a couple of weeks, so your body is breaking down. That's only yeah. making it easier. Because everything's becoming even brittler and worse. That's true. Um, so anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I just, I really hate weapon durability because it's like, I understand that they go like, oh, we're adding it for realism, but it's like, guys, guys, I'm, I'm using a cavalry sword. Uh, fun fact, you can get a cavalry sword pretty early in the game. Yeah. It's like an old school, like, uh, Revolutionary War one. I'm like, yeah. and I'm using it against people in bikinis. Yeah. This thing was designed for warfare to be smacked against other metal swords and cut through people wearing stuff that was designed not to be cut through. Yes. Like, thick woolen jumpers and jerkins and several layers because you didn't want to get sliced open and material is actually really good at not getting sliced open. Readable. Um, so, yeah, and I'm like, yeah, here I am using it against someone in a bikini and just swinging it at their neck and it's like, oh, that's, that's taking a chunk of damage off. It's like, yeah. no! This is literally the easiest thing this thing would ever have done. Yeah, it's like Dying Light has the same sort of mechanics. Um, except one of the strongest swords in the game, X EXP Carol, mm -hmm. um, you've literally got to sit there for five minutes holding a button to get to pull it out of the rock. Yeah. Um, so. About six hits and it's done. It does massive amounts of damage, but it's done after about six hits. No, it's just, it's, it's, it's a pandemic. It's fun. No, it's there's, not there's a pandemic. There's one game. That's a disease. It's an epidemic. It is. It's an epidemic of people who don't understand that fucking things are designed to work on... Okay, it's like this, right? Mm. One of my favourite weapons in the zombie apocalypse, the humble crowbar. Oh, yes. Literally designed to be leverage. So, like, whole body weight on something that's wedged in something so you can lift it up mm -hmm. and un un crow it. I don't really know why it's called a crowbar. Um, yeah. a, pry bar, a pry bar makes more sense. It does, it does. But anyway, I digress. But you know, in every game where there's a zombie apocalypse, you get a crowbar, and you're like, this thing should be good. It's got the hook side, it's got the non-hook side, I can just swing it around, it's not too heavy, it's not too thin. Yep. It's, it's a very versatile weapon, hence why Gordon Freeman used it so liberally. Oh, yeah. No, no, they, they, it breaks after like a couple hits, and you're like, you understand that this thing is designed to literally, like I've seen yeah. bent crowbars, but when you say what happened to that, they're like, oh yeah, so like ten of us yanked on it while it was wedged under like two ton, and it just fucking hit bent, <laughs> and you're like, it bent like ten degrees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, just... <laughs> it's those things are fucking stuck. No, yeah. but not in video games. The video games like, oh man, we made it out of paper mache. They do. It's, it's like also irritating. machetes, you know, machetes. Yeah. Or shovels. Have you ever... Here's a, here's a question for everyone who's a fan of weapon durability in video games. Have you ever punched the ground hard enough to make it get you a hole? No, because the ground's fucking tough as shit and <laughs> you can't do that. But I'm sure if you punch someone in the head a couple of times, you'd probably end their fucking stupid existence. It's true. And yes, they are stupid because they're letting you punch them in the head a bunch of times. It's true. No smart person's going to do that. They're going to see you comment them and be like, okay, I don't want to get punched in the head. And you're going to be like, what if I just do it like 10 times so that you die? They're going to say, no. <laughs> Stop it. That's a weird question to ask. <laughs> it is. Anyway, again, we're digressing. We're, we're off topic. But, you know, a shovel, motherfucking shovel can do that shit. It just goes in and in and in and... You know, Chris, how often do you have to replace a shovel? Like, after every three holes you dig? No, Why? because they're fucking designed to be sturdy. The, yeah, last, in a video the game. last shovel I used was fucking covered in rust. <laughs> but and in a video it was game, fine. it's like, oh man, you hit a human in the head with that shovel like five times, it busted. It's like, no! Human heads aren't that strong! No. 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 So, so there's one game I was okay with weapon durability. And there was one reason I was okay with it. You got Stark Souls. Close. There's blood. That's what's fucking soft. <laughs> <with> this coming. 
But the thing is, once it was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, dude, that's that no, it it got to a point where the weapon just wasn't doing as well. It was still working, but it would do a little bit less damage. Okay, yeah, but that's that yeah, makes okay, sense. That's, that's and fine. Then that's fine. That's fine. You go and repair it, and guess what? It's doing full damage again. Yeah, fair, fair, fair enough. I'll I'm allow, okay with that. I'll allow it. But you know what? I don't allow it breaking. Breath of the Kingdom. <laughs> Uh, no, sorry. Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Both of them. I don't like either of them. Tears of the Wild, Breath of the Kingdom. Don't like them. <laughs> um, because the weapons that are literally weapons designed to fight monsters are like, I see you hit a monster with that three times, and that monster is still coming at you. But sir, I am breaking. And you're like, motherfucker, why did we even waste the metal to make you, you stupid piece of shit? A five ruling and sword. Literally a sword given to the fucking soldiers. That's why they lost. Exactly. <laughs> Bang. Oh, my sword's broken. Hey. I guess I'll just die now. Oh, no. My sword lasted just as long as this stick. <laughs> it's, it's not even a log. It's a fucking stick. It's okay, everyone. If your sword's break, you can pick up sticks off the ground. They don't do as much damage, but they last just as long. Anyway, <laughs> that, that's the worst case example. Oh, yeah. But I will say any zombie survival game is pretty fucking bad. Especially oh, when they like, all have every single one of them. Especially when they give you like a weapon where it's like, this is a machete. And you're like, okay, why was this built? To chop through thin timbers and thick foliage. Yeah. But you hit a person and they're like, you know, people are made out of sterner stuff. It's like, no, they're literally not. <laughs> we are very easily broken. <laughs> Extremely. I have, I have literally seen someone throw themselves into a bush and come off second best. <laughs> yeah. The bush had one broken. Well, yeah. the bush was full of thorns, but oh, that yeah. was their fault. They had the ability to see those thorns. <laughs> oh, yes. They were drunk. But hey, that's not important. Yeah. Hey guys, watch this. Oh, it's a thorn! Yeah, yeah, there's so many in there. Good luck getting out. <laughs> we're not putting our hand in there. Good luck. Goodbye. I ain't an idiot. I <laughs> know. What would it be better if he, if he just jumped into like a whole bunch of cacti? Who <laughs> <laughs> knows? Watch me tackle this bush. Yep, that's a cactus. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So many needles! <laughs> the bush fought back! The bush fought back! You're broken at least. You, sir, have one. But at what cost? <laughs> Can someone help me get these out? No. Suffer. <laughs> Just suffer. Absolutely not. <laughs> However, I will sit here a while I watch you kick them out because you will be in pain. This one. <laughs> Where? There. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, as I said, I fucking hate the durability system in most of these games. Oh, it, it just sucks. It does my head in because I'm just like, okay, I understand why we want durability. But, yeah. like, I've always found that it makes more sense in horror games, and I don't care if you're afraid of zombies, mm, yeah. but um, Dead Island 2 is not a horror game. It is very much an action game. Maybe slightly thrill? Mm. No. The zombies are, whilst disgusting, are not... Not a threat? Well, they are a threat. They can kill you, but well, it's... Yeah. It's like the, the like the whole thing has to be very well put together for any zombie attack to be scary. Otherwise, you're just kind of walking around being like, mm, "Okay, there's a zombie there. There's a zombie there. Here's my I suppose way. dying. Like, I'm gonna jump down on that zombie. I'm gonna kill it. Then that one's gonna come at me. I'm gonna kill it. It's like dying light has the whole situation of like, huh? Oh shit, that one's gonna explode. Or the volatiles, which we may be exploding ones in Dead yeah. Island too. But what I'm saying is like, I wouldn't even class dying light as a horror game. Because it's thrilling. There comes oh, a point. Given that because it's no, like, no, no, no. See, the thing no, is, volatile. Because no, no. here's the thing about horror games, right? Horror games are supposed to make you feel like you have no choice. You have to get through. Yeah. You know what is a horror game? Outlast. Outlast. The one where you have a video camera and your only option is to run and hide. Outlast. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. Um, that's a horror game. Oh, because okay. you have no option. Both Dying Light and Dead Island. No, I've never considered are action games. They are. You are fighting. Yes, what you're fighting is zombies. But the zombies could be replaced by human sized aliens and it would be exactly the same game. It's true. It's the, the only thing that would be 
like these games aren't designed to make you feel powerless they make you feel like kind of like a bit of a badass yeah it's that's like, why one of them was entirely based around parkour because it knew that no one playing it could actually do parkour and yeah <laughs> that's a fair point but here we give you the option do parkour own a city because we know that you're not going to risk it in real life because the thing is the thing about like your volatiles is the point is get away from them don't fight them because you can't then you just somehow get a really strong weapon Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, the volatiles become uh, three hits and they're dead. Or you just fucking. Whereas initially, when you start the first time you find a volatile, you can survive it, but you'd have to be really good at getting uh, and avoiding its hits. But like, but okay, it'd be so, like thirty hits. So like, even the first time in Dying Light, the original one, where you see a volatile, you're forced to run. You you are forced to run, but that's not a horror situation. No, you're like kind of sitting there and it's like, oh god, it's. It's nighttime, and you look around, and then you see two of them, and then one of them looks at you, and goes like, Aah! "It's like, okay, it's supposed to be horrifying, but yeah, it's you supposed know, to scare you a little." At this point, you're just kind of like, "Oh, no. I've been playing video. I've been around for a while. I've seen alien zombies." Um, yeah. Anyway, so then that happens, and you run, and it's like, and and, and you're told to run, and you're supposed yeah. to run, and if you stop, it's pretty much guaranteed death. But I'm like, the first time I came across a volatile in the wild, I think I just like flying kicked it off a building. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, okay, well, I don't know if it's dead, but it's no longer my problem. Yeah. Because Dying Light did that to you. You had the ability to just yeet yourself feet first into someone's chest. That was That's an fun. incredibly powerful move. <laughs> is, and I enjoyed using no it. One, no one who does that is taking any shit from anyone. No. Nick and I just like... We got to a point while playing that, and Nick and I were just, just fly kicking. I'm just, I'm just constantly. I'm just saying. Fun. Tomorrow, fun. going to work and just two legs straight into the chest of your manager. <laughs> he will not fuck with you anymore. Probably cave his fucking chest in. He'll just be like, okay, well, okay, everyone just. Well, actually, he'll be on the ground. <laughs> Whatever just happened there, everyone. Is Chris is having a bad day. <laughs> Should we send him home? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, yeah, probably, because you've just bodied, bodied into the ground. <laughs> because both your feet were in your manager's <laughs> chest and your arms were by your side. <laughs> Boom. Straight onto the Two concrete. reasons to go. One, you just attacked someone. <laughs> Two, oh, my shoulder. <laughs> Two, oh. the concussion. <laughs> Can I go home? I hurt my But anyway, no, no game that allows you to do that has horror. But as I said, there are games that are, like, even, like, Dead Island 2, I've come across one of its jump scares where I open a door and, like, the second I open it, it, like, exploded into my face and, like, a zombie grabbed me. And I was like, oh, there's the jump, one of them jump scares that's supposed (laughs) to make a horror. Yeah, it's like I was playing. Uh, I was playing Dead Island. It's like it's it's literally the starting point of Dead Island 2. You're walking around this plane crash. Now. I am no beginner in zombie games. So the first thing I got was a pipe. Now, I want to talk about this pipe for a second. Yeah. Because whilst I've never been macheted or hit with a wood splitting axe, mm-hmm. you know something I have been hit with? A fucking steel pipe. And let me tell you, I was pretty sore after getting hit with it. Yeah. And it only hit me in the thigh. Oh, um, yeah. But, do you know how much damage was done to the steel pipe? None. None whatsoever. Oh. It could have it could have gone and whacked so many people. Anyway, yeah. so you get the steel pipe, you cave in a few zombie heads, whatever, it breaks. You go, holy shit, they've got that really shitty paper mache steel again. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I digress. Yeah. So I'm walking around, you're walking around this airplane. The second I got a weapon, every dead body, I'm just like, poke, poke. Because I've played zombie games before. Go check. The whole thing is they go like, Oh, look at all of these dead bodies just littering the scenery. And like, okay, well, that one there's a zombie. You walk over and hit it, and it's like, and you're like, yes. And if I had just walked past you, you would have got up really sneaky, like, and been like, I'm behind you. And I would have been like, no, because I saw you lying there. I'm going to deal with this before you even get up. <laughs> I'm going to cave your head in. And that's what you do. Same with Dying Light. It, I don't know why zombie games are still trying this trick, because anyone who's played one before goes, there's a zombie. Look at it look at it and then you just walk over and go Pop! and he goes oh how'd you guess I was alive and it's like because this is where you should be 
So anyway, yeah. you're walking around this dark plane, you've got to go through all these tight areas, and yeah. I'm like, I, I will give Dead Island 2 the full credit here. Yeah. No jump scares. Not even one of a zombie coming at you. And I was just like, thank you. Because this would be the immediate time, right off the game, I haven't seen a zombie yet, to throw one in my face and be like, we got you! And I'd have been like, no, I was expecting it. So I spent the whole time expecting it and never got it. But I did that as I walked into a few bodies. I was like, you're a zombie. <laughs> ah, killed you. And they go, yeah. oh. <laughs> and they die. And you're like, I don't feel bad for you. Also, what the fuck? Like, that's the one thing about the zombie zombie games I don't understand. Yeah. Why do some zombies just sit there and like, you know what? All those other zombies are chasing the living people who are still alive. But me, I'm going to sit here just in case one of them walks by me. I'm going to pretend to be dead. Then once they've walked by, I'm still pretend to be dead. And when they come back, I might slowly shamble up. It's like, yeah. no, zombies wouldn't do that. Although I will say the zombies in Dead Island 2 do some weird things. Yeah. Some of them just rummage through bins. Weird. I don't think that's typical zombie behavior. No. No. Although they're at there. Let me say, let me say, if you are going to play a zombie game, play Dead Island 2. Yeah. First of all, maybe you have access to it. <laughs> Second of all, I was trying to remember, did I buy it or did I get it off Game Pass? And I was like, it doesn't fucking matter. You have access to it. Yes. Um, second of all, there are some really fun parts. Like, I walked a bunch across all these zombies that were just in this giant puddle. And, like, they saw me and they started coming towards me. And I was like, give me one second. Ran back to a car that had, like, battery in it. Pulled the car battery out, ran back to the puddle and just electrocuted them all. It's like, excellent. Uh, it's fun with those. Oh, yeah, I love putting it. Putting those features in is fucking great. I love it. It's It's... That's why I'm like, it's more, it's it's not a horror game. A horror no. game doesn't let you do stuff like that. A horror game is like, you see all those monsters down there? You've got to sneak by them. <laughs> and you're like, oh. but there's 50 of them and there's no cover. Good luck. And you're like, so when was the last time I saved? And they're like, do you haven't yet? <laughs> oh no. How long have we been playing for? Oh, 25 hours. Excellent. How has there not been a save point yet? Because that's the terror. <laughs> like, oh shit, that is the terror. Old gaming. Tell me about it. Oh, that was some terrifying shit. Fucking, we played Hercules the other night. Four. Oh my god. Wasn't actually scary, bitch. Yeah, it's the pixels themselves. Oh, we realized after, if you, if you watched the video, <laughs> we could change you can't the controls. You can't have watched the video. It's not out yet. No, I'm saying, like, if they watch this after, anyway. Yeah. Either way, you'll notice in it, we talk about the controls and how shit they are because it's so weird oh, with so what weird. buttons they have set up. It's just after we stopped the recording, we Darcy started up the game again, looked at it, he's like, oh, oh fuck, why don't we look at this? It tells us exactly what we needed. No, no, like One, that. the manual to tell us what the buttons actually were, and then two, the settings so we can go through and change them to a better I wanna, I wanna, of I want to talk about that for a brief second. Because yes. you know how there's a lot of games you go back to now that you're an actual someone who knows games and yeah. you know, can play video games and you go, this used to give me so much trouble as a kid. You play and you go, no, oh yeah, no, no, I don't know why this was giving me trouble as a kid. Yeah. This game is so easy. Kind of like the, sort of like the Spyro games. Spyro games are incredibly easy. Not that they ever gave me that much trouble as a kid, no. but like, you know, they're, they're, they're fun, easy games because they're kind yeah. of platform adventure, whatever. Yeah. Um, they're not meant to be hot. No. But there's a whole lot of games that I can think of that if I were to go back to them, one I really want to go back to and play is Atlantis The Lost Empire. I never actually played that one. It was a PS game only. I have a copy of it somewhere, but I was like, I'm going to try and find it on Steam because obviously I've got Hercules. It, was in, that, be on there, it yeah. was in that era of Steam. Uh, it was in that yeah. era of those games from Disney. True. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll go on Steam and find it. No, they only released it for PlayStation. Yep. Now, they can probably do, like, emulations and stuff and get it working on Steam, yeah. but either way, um, that's a bit of... It's, 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 it's such a shame, because I actually remember really liking that game, but I got stuck at a point, and I could not figure out how to get past it. But I was, uh, like, a five-year-old child so it makes sense that you and i'm like past certain things. your problem solving ain't the best at that age no also you know like the terror of being caught by the 
pixely guy is so much higher. There was another tr- there was another game I can't remember what it was, but like okay. I just stopped playing it when I was a kid because I was like, no, I can't do this. And then I kind of picked it back up because I found it on like Steam or something like that. I can't I was like, <laughs> and I played it and I was just like, oh yeah, oh I remember what it was, and it wasn't. I remember exactly what it was. It okay. was um, Kong's Bad Fur Day. Ah, uh, yes, yep. Um, and it wasn't. A, I wasn't a child. I was like eleven. Okay. Yep. And it was just still a child. <laughs> uh, preteen. <laughs> um, yeah. And I, I also remembered why I stopped playing it. Um, it was the live and reloaded one, so it was the one for the Xbox. Yeah. And it was right up. It was where you fight all. You had to fight out of the zombie-infested mansion. Okay. And I stopped playing that because, mm-hmm. because, I had to return it to Blockbuster. It was uh, a two-day rental because it was a popular game at the time. So you were only allowed it for two days. Mm-hmm. And because I played so much multiplayer, because that was part of what I loved about Comics Bad Birthday, I was like, okay, I'll start the story. And then I was like, you've got to return it. And I was like... <laughs> anyway, so I finally... I've got it again. I've got it again, and it, I can play it, because I have a North American version, so I can't play it on either of my old Xboxes. Oh, uh, yeah. you can play it on the Xbox One. Oh, uh, yes, again. Because it is not region locked. So I have the disc. The disc is in the disc box that I have somewhere. And I have played it. And I distinctly remember getting stuff there um, and then having to go to school and then having to return this disc. But I came back to it and I was just like, oh yeah, this is so much easier. Hmm. And like, even though the controls are jank. Oh, like, don't get me wrong. The controls are jank. And they was, used to be. Yeah. But they but used I'm to just be so amazing. Much, I'm just so much more coordinated now. So it's not like, oh my God, I've got to run here and aim this gun. And oh God, everything's piling up and I'm getting swarmed and I can't beat these guys because they're swarming me. It's now just like, step here, boom. Okay, step over here, boom. And I was like, that was one of the things. So yeah. I'm like, if I could go back to Atlantis, The Lost Empire, the video game, yeah. I'm like, I could 100% beat this part that got me stuck as a five-year-old. Oh, you could. Um, but then there are games that are just... Then oh, there's then Hercules, are the game we fucking did. <laughs> and Chris, Chris literally got to the point where I used to get to as a kid. Yeah. But when I used to get there as a kid, I had no lives left. When Chris got there, he had two lives left. Yeah. And I'm like, no, that game is just as fucking hard as I remember. I think the thing that was fucking me up the most is I kept pressing the wrong button. And it's fucking bad, man. I moved one finger, and then because it was so weird on how we had to place our fingers on the keyboard, getting back to the button, I'd I'd just bring it back to the wrong button. But even that, even that, like, that is a hardest balls game. And it's not oh, hard as balls because, like, the controls are super complicated or anything. No, no there's, like, six of them. What yeah. makes it hard as balls is shit, like, they just don't give a fuck. It's like, no. you, you walk behind a bush and then you take damage. You're like, what the fuck hit me? And then you, like, keep taking damage. And then you, like, walk out from behind the bush and it's like, aha, this enemy that was perfectly hidden by the bush. You're like, why the fuck is that there? <laughs> yeah. It's like one of the, the ones dogs. I went past. It was, like, legitimately, you just see its tail. Yeah. I fucking saw its tail. I went, and there's a like, dog there and you went, what? Boom. Got hurt. And then there was another one like, have you seen it? It's like, yes, I've seen it. And then still got hit anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that game is just hard as balls. And we did actually get further than I ever made it as a child. But Except not we got much s- further. <laughs> no, because we got, we briefly got stuck at one point and then it was like, well, we've been recording long enough. Well, it's not even that. It's like we got to a, like, we, we, we weren't messing around in that game. We were, no. We were, but we weren't like we literally had no idea what we were doing. Darcy, as a tiny like fucking five year old yeah. child, would have been better at that game. It's just oh yeah, um, because he he knew about the things like the ground that could be broken that we had no idea about until after we finished recording. I'm looking at things and went, oh, you can ground slam. Oh, that explains the ground that looked fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, no, it's so, like, but it's the thing, it's, it's one of those things that we've forgotten that I realised towards the end of it, when I was trying to find the controls to be able to throw the rock back at the, oh. the monitor, I, I was there and I'm like, oh, that's right, these games didn't really have a lot of tutorials to get you through oh, yeah, all the buttons, manual, manual. they just had it in the manual that was in the case, yeah. and I can, it was one of those things that we just they just don't do anything. 
because it's all a part of the game. Okay, so after yeah. after we do this, I'm going to go and check something um, because after, after we've wrapped this all up, yeah, which will be happening in a couple of seconds. But I, yeah. yeah, I just wanted to say this. I'm like the f- most the funniest thing. Yeah, and I, I and I actually mean this. The funniest thing is that five year old Darcy with that game. Yeah. The one thing that I never figured out yeah. was how to consistently jump on that Minotaur's back to beat him. So oh. that's what would always kill me. Oh. I couldn't get it consistent. And I figured it out. So, yeah, that's it the took, one. I, I took, first time I did it, I did it accidentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was an accident, but then I figured it out. I'm like, oh, shit, I've got to wait until he's sort of... Yeah. That, that's the thing. That's the one hold-up that I had. I could not consistently figure out how to do that. Hmm. Now, everything else, I reckon if we had five-year-old Darcy who was who used to play that game... Versus the two of us with our adult brains and our abil- and our years of experience, and both of us and we told him how to do that minotaur part. He probably would have finished the game, and we would oh, still be sitting there being like, "How the heck do we throw a rock at a minotaur?" <laughs> yeah, we hundred percent would have been doing that. Little motherfucker would have been like, "I know these controls," boom, boom, boom. and, and we'd be sitting there going like, "What? Did, how did you do that?" And he'd be like, "You just got to do this," and we're like. We are doing that. No, but the thing is... It's like the one rock I threw at the mentor. Like, how did you do that? I'm like, I don't know. Because we get to a point where we just start button, like pressing buttons to try to figure Surely out. Surely this does something. And, and then you do it and you're like, shit, how did I do that? I, I, don't know, I don't know how I did it. And it happens all the time. But it's like, but younger Darcy would have known controls. Manual. Whereas you wouldn't even need that. You would have just gone, these are the controls. Boop, 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 boop. You know, it would just be like... Oh, yeah, I suppose they would. Yeah, stop that. <laughs> Whereas we were looking at it and being like, well, we have a full keyboard here. <laughs> what are we pressing? <laughs> what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> also, you know, with his shifty little eyes, he would have picked... He, he, yep. I always used to get all of the Herculeses. All of the letters. Got all of the letters, yeah. We got like... Five between the two of us. Well, that's the thing. Is in that, all of the missions. Yeah, but in our first playthrough, I didn't even know they were there. I don't think you remembered it either. You just went through and you found a letter and, like, and you're like, E. And I'm like, oh, shit. We could spell a word. And then it was the last E. And we're like, oh, how many did we miss? That's what I mean. Like, With the broken ground that we missed. It was from some oh, that's probably a in there. As I said, the little, but little, little fucking five girl Darcy, that that kid would have been like trouncing us, and I was just like, cause I, but I was like, you know, I bought it because I bought it on Steam, obviously. I bought it because I was like, this is one of those games that when I was a kid, I, I, there was one point I couldn't get past the Minotaur, yeah, because I'd jump on his back, he'd drive me to one side of the screen, and then I'd nope. lose on a Minotaur, yeah, no, I sorry, the Centaur, Centaur. yeah, he'd drive me to one side of the screen, I'd get thrown off, and then I'd have to try and make it back past him. And I yeah. just take so much damage trying to get past, and then I die, and then I'd have to do the whole thing over again. And so I could d- never do it. And I was like, but maybe now that I'm a fully formed adult, with my fully formed adult brain, yeah. I could do this. And going back and playing it, I was like, holy shit, that kid had that kid had mad skills. <laughs> <laughs> But this is the thing, that was also back then. What do you like, mean? <laughs> this is the whole part where I was just could not get down. <laughs> and I kept like falling and grabbing onto the ledge. I was like, I didn't even know I could fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Anyway, we've been rambling on for quite a time now. Yeah. Um, I finished both of my cokes. I finished both my drinks. So we might as well call that a day. Uh, thank you for joining us. If you like the video, consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Yes. If you also hate bunnings, let us know. Um, it does suck. If you think your manager. <laughs> didn't pass high school you can also let us know that uh, we would be interested to know uh, we yeah. do like to go and make fun of them <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time I've been Darcy he's Chris bye bye see ya just so dumb there's no food here there's no food off you go no, not a bit no, you gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Good chat. Bye. <laughs> yeah. My mouth tastes like garlic bread. That's weird. I hate garlic bread, but I do not. Ah, actually, that makes sense then.
still don't like it. No, no, that's fair. 